We're currently staying on the beautiful island of Oahu in Hawaii. How beautiful is this place? Aloha! We're spending the next few days exploring the island, starting off by visiting one of the most famous landmarks, Diamond Head. We hike up the volcanic crater in hopes of seeing the incredible coastal views from the top. Going in the tunnel. This is cool, isn't it? The stunning beaches are part of the reason Oahu is one of the most visited Hawaiian islands. The beach is like the prettiest golden sand. I just can't get over how nice it is here. But Oahu is also home to some beautiful marine life. So we hop on a boat in hopes of catching a glimpse of some turtles. But let's just hope my boyfriend Jasper isn't too hungover for it. The size of Jasper's drink. The biggest margarita I have ever seen. I can't believe we're in Hawaii. Like it still doesn't feel real. Today we're adventuring out into Hawaii. We're gonna explore a little bit more and we're actually gonna go to a crater. We saw it because we were standing on the beach and it's essentially this giant hill that looks so magnificent because it's got greenery all over the front of it. Like it looks so impressive. This saucer shaped crater was formed about 400,000 years ago during a single eruption. Diamond Head was used as a military base by the US government in the early 1900s, but in 1965, it was preserved as a historic site and then became open to the public for hiking and exploration. But firstly, we need to get a bus there. So let's go. We've made it on the bus and we're just about to start the walk. We just need to sort of navigate our way to it, but the view is already looking amazing. It looks so nice. Let's walk. Let's go. This is the tunnel that we gotta go through. This is so cool, isn't it? We made it into the park. One thing we didn't realize is you had to have an advanced reservation. Yeah. But we've made it. You just have to do it online. There was a guy wearing a yellow hat and he helped us like do it all, so that was good. And we got Wi-Fi from him, so yeah. we made it in. It's basically just like an online. Yeah. Online pick your time slot kind of thing. So let's walk. Let's go. Current views. Let me see how much have we got. How are you holding up? Bit sweaty. Yeah. How are you finding that? It's not bad, is it? Just gradual climbs. It's not too bad. It's not too steep. I thought it might be steeper than this. Yeah, I feel like the idea of it's worse than it actually is. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I like it. What a struggler. Eh? It's a bit hot. It is warm. But I'm more worried about what's ahead of us. You got some steps. You got some steps. It's such a nice view though. Yeah. Look at this I can't wait till we get to see that way. Yeah. Like back towards where uh, Waikiki. This was definitely worth the five dollar entry. It's definitely. Highly recommend. Wow, we haven't even got there yet. We haven't got there, but so far it's good. Yeah, it's so. just like a good walk, isn't it? Yeah. Tunnel. This is cool, isn't it? So cool. Be in a tunnel. <laughs> How it's many steep. steps? <laughs> no, it just keeps going. It's well steep. It's a bit creepy. <laughs> Sweaty. You're sweaty? It's the urgent out there. 
<laughs> that water is so clear. Yeah, it is. I don't know if you would be able to see it. It's so blue. We are back for our walk. We made it back down. We just got the bus back again. The bus is super easy, although you do have to pay with cash and you have to have the exact amount because they don't give any change. Or you have to buy like a halo card. Luckily, we had some cash, which was all good, but it literally cost $3 each, each way, which is super cheap to be fair, because what was it like? What would you say, like a 20 minute journey? Half an hour. Half an hour. The walk took us about half an hour, 40 minutes to the top and back. And surprisingly, I found it really good. And the view was just everything like it was so nice up there I definitely recommend it doing that just make sure you pre-book in advance we went to 7-eleven on the way back i got a super big gulp the size of my head and this isn't even the biggest one i need to bring you inside 7-eleven because they have so many insane drink options they have like the slushes the slurpees um they have like coke fanta i just got a fanta in here it is so orange i don't know if you can see but so good and they always do like smoothies frappes so good so love a 7-eleven this cost two dollars so anyway we'll just come back to the room and we're gonna head back out jasper is deceased behind me <laughs> at least we got our steps in today though which is the main thing yeah anyway let's go back out I feel like we're just gonna chill i was gonna have a shower but i thought if we go back out i'll just keep these clothes on have a little walk about and then shower when we get back because i'm just gonna get sweaty again to be honest laying down here with it, I'm gonna get head rushed. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get over how nice it is here. Good evening everyone. So we've come back to the room, had a shower, I washed my hair so I'm feeling nice and fresh and also got on a little fancy outfit tonight. We're actually going out for, I say a fancy dinner, I don't even know if this is a fancy place, but we're dressed up anyway. So I actually feel really good because the last couple of days I just haven't really been feeling that, I don't know, confident in myself, in like, I don't know, I've just been feeling a little bit off, you know? And to be fair, I haven't really been making an effort, like I haven't been putting on any makeup, I haven't really been doing anything. So I put on a layer of fake tan, put on some makeup, and I painted my toenails, not that you need to see my toes, but I feel like since traveling, because it is like, it sounds ridiculous and I feel so stupid whenever i sit but it is exhausting especially like coming to a new location where the time zones are all different and everything i feel like especially when we move locations you just sort of like let the little things that make you feel good slip so i've just had a little self-care evening made myself feel a little bit better and yeah we're gonna head out for dinner tonight we're going to the hard rock cafe and i've only ever been once and i went when i was about i want to say like 12 13 years old so like 10 years ago i actually came when i came to america the first time on a school trip so i came to america i think it was 2012 i want to say and we came on a school trip and we went to boston and washington and we were meant to be going to new york but there was a hurricane jasper's never been before i feel like they have hard rock cafes everywhere like in europe as well i think i've seen people go to them in like all different countries so i don't think it's just like an america thing we literally go to the hard rock cafe in like a half an hour just was still eating <laughs> mini cinnamon rolls are banging let, let me show you them we popped via a target we literally just quickly looked in there but jasper went straight to the bakery section as he always does the size of jasper's drink Biggest margarita I have ever seen. Oh, is it good? Mm. What is it? It tastes like a classic margarita with like a hint of orange. Mm. I wanted to get the mango one, my favourite, but it ran out. Sad times. That's, that's quite like, I didn't think it's going to be very strong, but it's actually got a bit of a... It's huge. A litre of margarita. You'll be on the floor. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's actually really nice. Look at the size of these nachos. Pretty big. Mm. That's good. Very good nachos. So nice, aren't they? Mm -hmm. 
Plenty more of these that we're going next. Ooh, hint, plenty, hint. plenty more. Now we've got this huge burger. It looks nice. It looks so good. This is our view as well. I love it here. What's this? Like gravy? Good. Oh. It's like taste test time with Jasper. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What is it? Barbecue sauce? No. Oh, yeah. I actually don't know. I don't know. It's like quite vinegary. Oh. Very runny. Ooh. So we're now up from the Hard Rock Cafe and it was such a lovely evening like the food was so good it's definitely not the healthiest food we've had um but the burger was so good nachos were so good jasper's margarita here he is it was 10 10 10 10 it was very nice overall it was really good and the bill came to 58 pound and then obviously add a tip onto that because i keep forgetting we're in america and like you have to make sure you give like a relatively decent tip like we've tried to tip all the way through travel anyway but i forget like americans rely so much on like especially the waiting stuff on the tips especially in restaurants it always puts like what they recommend you basically should tip them I always forget that and especially with america as well like the tax isn't included so like when we go in shops it always is more expensive than i was expecting because it's like oh wait you gotta add the tax so i always forget things like that so it's 58 dollars um without the tip and then add the tip on top so yeah i didn't think that was too bad but we could have definitely got way more like i i, I kind of wish i got a cocktail but that wasn't one that i like sp that spoke to me you know <laughs> like the margarita for jasper that was 20 dollars though wasn't it yeah, but I didn't think it's that bad. It's like sixteen pound for like a liter of cocktail. That is true. It's not too bad. I'm gonna go sleep now. Ready for a really exciting day tomorrow. I just can't wait. So I shall catch you in the morning. So today was meant to be a really exciting day, but turns out Jasper got the day wrong. So I woke up this morning, got all ready, was super excited, and then Jasper checked his emails and realised he'd booked it for the wrong day. The activity that we we're meant to be doing today books it for the wrong day so i blame jasper jasper's currently in the shower so he can't defend himself but it is his fault <laughs> i mean i should be grateful that jasper does do all the booking of everything on travel and this is the first thing that he has kind of like messed up so i'll let it slide so today we're actually meant to be going on a boat trip swimming with turtles and honestly I think it's going to be like the dreamiest thing ever even though it's slightly annoying i'm actually so glad we aren't doing it today because if you followed along with our travels across the world we haven't had the best luck with weather on the days that we do boat trips when we were in thailand we went on a boat trip to this place called coral island and it was so gray and cloudy and the sea was so choppy <laughs> Then we went on a boat trip in the Philippines in Boracay. That was like such bad weather as well. And then we went to the Whit Sundays in Australia and it was pouring down with rain and then it was sunny and then it was cloudy. Like it was a whole mixture going on up there. So when it comes to boat trips, we really don't have the best luck with weather. And we woke up this morning and it is so gray and cloudy outside. Like, let me show you. This is the weather today. So as you can see, it's not the best. So hopefully this is the universe making sure that we're going on a boat trip on a nice, hot, sunny day. So let's pray for good weather. So actually, I am very glad that we're not on a boat out at sea today because it just doesn't look the best out there so we're actually just going to be having a chill day in hawaii we're going to go get a coffee we're just going to have a little walk along the beach we've also got a lot of life admin stuff that we need to sort out like we have the biggest bag of washing i'm so embarrassed like let me show you look at the size of this so this is all laundry that we need to get done it just piles up and especially like between locations like we still haven't figured out the laundry situation here so we need to i think they have it in this like hotel block so we need to do that today this is the one part of travel that is like the most annoying and to be honest if this is the worst part of travel i will take that any day we've made it out and about jasper just said he's hung over <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> Jeff said he's hung over from the giant margarita. <laughs> no, I've just got like a bit of a fuzzy head. But I think it's from, I think it's more from not drinking much water. Is that what it is? Yeah, like uh, yesterday. Is that I what you're telling yourself? <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, maybe I have. <laughs> no, I feel I feel completely fine. I just feel like I, I haven't got a headache, but I've got this like fuzziness. Yeah. But we're currently walking to the coffee shop, and we've just come down like via the beach, and it's so nice the beach here. Like honestly, the most golden sand ever. You sad not to be on the boat trip today? I oh, know because it looks shit out there. Yeah, like <laughs> let me show you the beach right now. You could easily snorkel and stuff, but. We, this is the first day we've had like cloudiness. Yeah. And it's a little bit windier. It would have been typical, wouldn't it? It would have been yeah. our luck. These hotels along the beach look so nice. Yeah. It's got a couple of slides. Looks so good. this holiday we had our coffees and they were so good and then we just walked past a cheesecake factory and jasper had to go in i love cheesecake it's his like favorite thing and you can't just walk past a cheesecake factory and not get a cheesecake apparently exactly so it's quite a good quite the goods yeah boy are you excited i am what'd you go for here and eat it. if you want what did you go seat. for red velvet Whoa! The cake addiction continues. What do you mean? I got I had a cake in ages. Like two days ago. <laughs> Come on. I have to admit, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? Look at that. Jeez. You got a little bit of cream with that. Yeah. Is insane. Twelve dollars worth every penny. <laughs> so we've been doing Hawaii all wrong so far because we haven't got a garland. It's about to change. It's about to change. We're going to go buy one now. I also really want to get a Hawaiian shirt, but Jasper won't let me. There's just no. There's no point. We're in Hawaii. Yeah, but we, we're trying to, we need to throw clothes out. <laughs> not get more. So let's go hunt for a garland. Look at all the shirts. This is what we want. Quality on those Hawaiian garlands weren't quite there, so gonna try another shot. The vibe. This is the one. Isn't it? It's still rather fake, but I don't know. Cute though. Better colour. Should you get matching? Nah, I got a different. No, I got to get matching. What one you going for them? <laughs> We're going for these two. Tell me you're a tourist without telling me you're a tourist. <laughs> Honestly, I love it. So we found ones that had a, like double yeah. the amount of fluffiness. Yeah, so they don't look as fake. <laughs> now we're doing Hawaii right. <laughs> Aloha. These only cost three ninety nine. Bargain. Absolute steal. <laughs> so happy. We start to walk around every day with this now. Are you going to wear it every day? Every day. Got to make the most out of it. Like, I look a bit weird if I was back in the UK. Yeah, very <laughs> true. So it's a couple of hours later and we've had such a lovely chill day. It's been so nice. But I wanted to quickly show you the stuff that I picked up from. So we obviously got the garlands. We got also a couple of other little like souvenir -y bits. So one thing that I've wanted to do the whole time during travel is send a postcard home. Now I'm hoping they would have arrived home by the time the video goes up. But we'll see. So I picked up a couple of postcards. I got one to just keep for myself. This is what all the number plates look like in Hawaii. They have like a rainbow on them. It's so cute. So I just wanted to pick this one up as like a little memory of Hawaii. And then we got these two to send back to my family and Jasper's family. Um, so we've got two postcards because I know it's so like old fashioned, but I honestly feel like these 
are like such a cute memory so i'm gonna send these back to our family so we popped into a post office and got some stamps how cute are these stamps so they were one dollar 45 each and we just basically said like we want to send postcards back to the uk like what do we need to buy so these are the ones he suggested but i've never seen stamps this pretty before then i also picked up this little hawaii guitar key ring i just thought it was super cute i basically got like a little tiny souvenir from each place that we've been to good morning everyone so today we are going snorkeling with the turtles it's only like a two hour boat trip so it's nothing crazy fingers crossed it's good but let's go got to see the turtles i am just so happy so he said today was probably one of the windiest days there was like quite a lot of wind but the weather was so good the sun was shining it was so hot but it was a little bit wavy um so it wasn't like the clearest water i've ever seen so it's kind of hard to see the turtles because they were so like low that you could sort of make out like the shape of the turtles down below but it's a little bit hard to see but then when they come to the surface it was just incredible the way they come up to the surface and then just like sit there with their mouths open like they are so cute their little heads oh it was amazing we didn't get too close to them because we didn't want to scare them away but we managed to get like close enough to like see them and oh it was amazing and i really love that they made such a big point of like you can't touch the turtles don't go too close to them he also said you get a ten thousand dollar fine if you touch a turtle which i don't know how true that is but so good the way that they just like make such a point of like not going too close to the turtles and everything like that and there was also absolutely massive fish I overall really enjoyed it such a lovely boat trip so glad we actually got to see them and they're just so cute like such cute animals good morning everyone so it's now the next day jasper passed out after the turtles yeah you loved it though oh, it was so good seen so many i reckon well i don't know if it's the same one but yeah that's true definitely well definitely seen there was definitely more than one there because they had different stuff on their shelves but i've seen a turtle at least like eight times probably it's pretty crazy isn't it and you got out, you got out, and then I just kept looking back, and you'd be like, I'd be like on watch, like pointing. Because it was so like, so, like a bit choppy, wasn't it? When your head's in the water, like you couldn't really see that far because yeah. of the waves. So when I got out, I saw so many just like yeah. in the distance that people couldn't spot. But they were pretty cool, weren't they? Yeah. Just come up, they'd be like. <laughs> Today we're heading out. Jasper wants to go get some pancakes from IHOP, which you gotta try it surely. Apparently they're like world famous pancakes. Are they? Yeah, it says it on their website. Are you excited? Yeah, boy. rate your pancakes i mean more i ate them the more i was a bit like no, i need to keep whacking syrup on these bad boys a bit dry yeah i'd probably give it like a solid seven maybe pretty good like, de like decent size yeah it was like 16 pounds though it's like 20 dollars yeah that's true so but no i like i'm glad we went same but now we're at the beach So we 
found a new coffee spot and it was said it was like Hawaiian made coffee. Yeah. So this is what it was called. Island Vintage Coffee. So let's try it. That is pretty good. Nice as the other place? Not as nice. But still nice. It's like an 8 out of 10 that. Yeah, the other ones are like unreal. Mm -hmm. Iced with honey. Ooh. I mean, you'd probably prefer the ice ones here than you would the other place. Would I? Yeah, because the other place are a bit stronger, but that's kind of what I like it. But this is like more sweet. Nice. Mm. Good coffee though. We've actually had such a nice day just chilling by the beach. And now we're going to head over to Walmart. Never been before. We've been to uh, Target. Yeah, today's generally just been a really nice chill day. In the next episode, we hire a Jeep and drive around the island. I love Hawaii. Like, why is this place? Oh, roundabout, roundabout. We also visit Pearl Harbor to learn more about this island's history. Mm -hmm.